Good morning! It's another Saturday, and you know what that means. <laughs> Welcome to the Minimalish Mama. We are still working through our spring cleaning. I have broken it up with help from my friend Emily from Simple by Emmy, who I will link to down below. Um, I've broken up my spring cleaning list into different categories and sections, and we've been working through them each week. So, this week our task is the living room, and I'm gonna try to get ambitious here and also add the office to that because I think these are the two smallest sections and I might be able to just do them all. So for the living room, we have vacuuming the furniture, shampooing the furniture, replacing air filters, dusting shelves and picture frames, washing baskets, because you know they can get like dusty and grimy and stuff. Washing the curtains is one thing that I added to my list. And then in the office, we have throwing out papers and sorting them, organizing files, going through desk drawers, going through books, and going through grab supplies. And I will see if I need to add anything to this list too. You can download your own PDF checklist at the link that's in the description down below and follow along. So who's ready to jump in and do this. Alrighty, so here is the living room situation. We got some toys to put away and I have a helper here. Hello! We gotta put away these toys before we can start cleaning the furniture. We're gonna vacuum and hopefully shampoo at least one couch Shampoo's today. Mm -hmm. But first, we will pick up the toys, and it's a lot of toys. <laughs> yeah, this is a lot. You guys had fun this morning. Yeah, you should pick them in the swim because that has a bigger mess. Uh, I think the opposite. No, 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 no. Do you have? Trying hard, but you wanna be my friend. Ain't no place to hide, ain't no one to run to. Here we go, here we go again. Call my bluff, I'ma be here till the end. I'm the one you ride, I'm the one you ride to. If you been a while since I've gone through my craft supplies so I want to do a deep dive into that. Organizing Brian's stuff in his desk drawers just because it's really hard for me to find stuff that I need that he has and then I think these cabinets I've done them many many times but I think they'll just need a little touch up and then I want to go through mine I'll go through my papers and I just did my whole filing system not too long ago but it's always good to just take a minute to just do a little refresher on it. So I think I'm gonna do that. And then over here, maybe we can get into toys a little bit. I do have a couple other videos on toy decluttering, if you wanna check those out. I'm the one you ride to. If you don't wanna change, ain't no place to hide. Somebody has a tendency to throw up his food in the corners of the couches and the chairs. It's really fun. So I couldn't figure out how to use this attachment to the carpet cleaner for cleaning furniture. So I went back to our old carpet cleaning handheld machine. So at a later date, I will figure that out and include that in a different video. So 
this died. <laughs> so I'm gonna charge that and see what I can do next here. I'm gonna put a dot for in progress. I'm gonna show you the main reason I need to wash these curtains that we just bought and put up like a month ago. The dog peed on them. Yeah. Here we go, here we go again. Trying hard, but you wanna be my friend. This is a great time to just wash all of your throw pillows and throw blankets. I realized I have quite a collection of baskets. They really are a weakness of mine. Okay, now that my carpet cleaner thing has charged up a little more, I am back to shampooing the furniture. The chairs, doing some spot cleaning. Okay, since the carpet cleaner thingy keeps dying, I'm gonna give you a quick tour of my desk drawers. Maybe start working on them. So, here is all of my little thingies drawer. I have my filming glasses here, which are my old glasses frames that I popped the glass out of so I don't have reflection. I use like old boxes and uh, like iPhone boxes and all kinds of little boxes to organize stuff with because uh, they're really sturdy and they're perfectly they have straight sides so it's quite nice and then i have this little organizer thing from forever ago this is my box of papers that i need to take action on or file really what i need to do is file things right away and not put them in here but since i knew i was going to be doing this video soon i kind of let things pile up so i definitely need to go through that down here are notebooks and books and things that basically don't fit anywhere else. And then down here is our files. So the carpet is kind of annoying. I did a whole video not too long ago about our papers, but I might just do a little bit of tidying and filing and then call this good. Cleaning this drawer is going to be a job for a magic eraser, but in the meantime, whoa, okay, let me show you my piles. Here's everything out of the drawer. That stuff is all going to go away, it needs to be put away or given away or somehow got rid of. This stuff is going to go in my wallet. I'm going to clean out all my little boxes here. I'm going to go through my pens, see which ones are not good anymore. This stuff is all staying. These cords I need to analyze because they've been in that little bag for ages and I haven't used them, so there's a good chance that I don't need them. And then I'm going to decide about these notebooks because while they're... F these are like little tiny pieces of paper. These are fine. This is pretty and I've had them forever, but what I really want are sticky notes. <laughs> And I don't have any, so I'm thinking about getting rid of these and getting sticky notes instead. And then I'm also contemplating seeing what is on these USB drives because um, I don't know. Now I'm sorting through the rest of this stuff that I'm planning to keep and figuring out which container is the right size for it 
and also the best configuration in the drawer. Good morning guys, it's a new day and today we're gonna focus on the office. In particular going through my desk drawers and files and maybe even my craft supplies if I can get to it today. I'm a big advocate for only having two places that you put your papers. Having an action item spot, like my little box here, or a clipboard or something like that, and then having a filing system. And don't be like me and let your box get full. <laughs> Go through it regularly and take care of things and get them filed. Um, it's so much easier to deal with and it saves so much time if you make your filing system convenient and simple to use and you can just file stuff right away when you need to. I actually was able to clear out several folders. I found a lot of notes and stuff that I had printed off the internet that I really didn't need to hang on to, so I recycled all of that stuff, which definitely freed up some more space, which is nice. is going to cover them up so I guess that's a bonus and also they won't be dragging on the floor anymore so they'll pick up less dust and dog hair <laughs> bummer I definitely am gonna have to steam them in the meantime let's jump over to the office cabinets and work on that a little bit in this cabinet we have all of our office supplies, paper, envelopes, shipping materials, cords, all that stuff. And then over here are all the stuff for the kids, so art supplies, activity books, and a whole bunch of stuff from Edison School from virtual schooling that I needed to go through. And I also needed to go through the art supplies and kind of get that under control. This handy little wood box is from Ikea, and I really love it. To keep things contained, I'm using a lot of little sandwich bags, because I don't really have anything else right now. So, it's not fancy, but it works. When you really take the time to sort out the art supplies by category, you can see how much of a thing you have. So like, I realized we have a lot of paintbrushes, tons of pencils, and tons of colored pencils, which the boys don't even really use. So I'm trying to pare all of that down. And I couldn't resist doing a little bit of rainbow organizing with the crayons. And look at this huge pile of stuff that is going away, <laughs> getting put away elsewhere or donated, etc. Okay, this cabinet I think is going to be a little more challenging. In here we have games, which I have pared down a lot already. Play-Doh thing. I ended up putting the play rest of the Play-Dohs up there in that gray box. So is that game because Bennett loves to dump that out. And then down here is a lot of, it's a lot of Brian stuff and then some photo books and things. So I have those here, but in the back there, there's a whole nother row. Those are all Brian's textbooks from college. And then these are all other books of Brian's. And then these are all Brian's like computer stuff and cords that we never use and will never use. But I have not been able to convince him to get rid of yet. So I'm gonna make another attempt at that. Okay, this is mine. <laughs> I have my camera and camera equipment down here 
and my sewing machine. And up here I have my sewing box, a sweater that needs some mending. My rule is if the lid on my sewing box won't close, then I need to get rid of some more stuff. These little Velcro cord wrapping things are kind of the best ever. I had a whole bunch of them that came with my cable boxes that I'll link down below, but check out how much better that looks. All right, now it's time for this cabinet. So I'm pulling out all of Brian's textbooks and notebooks and stuff from college. I mean, it's been, it's been a lot of years. If you haven't used it by this point, pretty sure you're not going to. Plus, you can also sell textbooks, so that's nice. So I'm gonna pull all that stuff out. I'm gonna work on cutting down our cords and that kind of thing and hopefully sell off some of these old computers. We had like six ethernet cables and lots of other duplicates. So I pared that down to just the cords that look kind of important. And now I'm gonna go through and try to do a big purge of our books because we just have a ton of them. A lot of them are books that people gave us that we are never going to read. <laughs> There's other books we have that the authors were not really fans of anymore, so we can really, hopefully now, just let those things go. Okay, this is the top drawer of my craft supplies dresser. It has a lot of stuff in there. <laughs> I have labels, uh, macrame supplies, beads, clay, it's just a lot. Then this drawer is mostly art supplies, so I have pens, chalks, paintbrushes, stuff like that. Here's paper stuff, so scrapbooking, and then I also have canvases and sketchbooks in there. And then this bottom drawer has fabric in it, and yarn and it's really full. While the boys are watching a movie, I decided to go through my craft supplies as quickly as possible, try to consolidate things, sort, and rearrange a little bit better. And I'm sorry the camera angle is not the best, but I was really trying to hurry. <laughs> so this is what we got. I didn't realize how much space all the packaging was taking, so when I took all my paints and art supplies out of their packaging, then I really freed up a ton of room. When it comes to craft supplies, you really have to decide what stuff you're keeping for aspirational you and what stuff you're keeping for actual you that you actually will use and not just dream about using someday. All right, so I'll show you how these turned out. Much, much better. Then down here we have art supplies and also extra Play-Doh for the boys. And then here I moved my fabric and canvases all together in this drawer. And then down here I have weaving, loom, and yarn. More yarn. <laughs> I really need to get weaving and like I love making the pom-poms um, and uh, like little rainbows and stuff like that but I really haven't done it in a long time and I would love to get back to it and I have so much yarn to use really really need to get back to it. So this is all stuff I'm hoping to get rid of to either sell or donate, so we shall see. Yeah, it was a lot of decluttering. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you'd like to see more of my spring cleaning, this is part three, so you can watch part two and part one. And you could also download your own checklist at the link that's down below, and you can join in anytime. I'd love to see what you're spring cleaning. You can definitely tag me on Instagram and I will see you guys later.
can water it if you want to. Yeah, I do, I do, I do. We're gonna give it a lot of water because today is hot. Yeah.